Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. Boy am I excited to get into this haul because I pulled everything together that I wanted to accessorize my bedroom for the new year once I redo it. So I'm so happy to show you what you can pull together or pull off from just odds and ends at the Dollar Tree to revamp a space at your house or decorate anything you'd like. So look at what I have done. Look at what I have done. Now I mentioned it in the last haul that I wanted to do my room over in gold and white and leave a little bit of minty green in here. Well, I found a whole entire strip of freshly newly put out LED strips of these fairy lights. This is the fairy garden figures. There's 10 LED lights in here. This takes two AA batteries to get it to work. Lightened length, it says indoor use only. So I got six boxes of these, okay? And these are just really light, nice strips of these fairy twinkle lights that you will see on the front of the box. Look at it in that little jar down there. Now I have used these in years past. They look like they're in a different looking box. So I did miss out on them at first, but then I went back and found them after I asked, do you guys have any fairy lights? So I picked up lots of boxes of these, six in total for now, because I want to do some DIYs with these, but I am very happy to have seen these and been able to pick up so many. So that is first and foremost, and I'm so stoked about it. I'm kind of going for just like a whimsical, really, really calm effect in my room for the new year, a lighter space with more neutrally colors and it's a new thing for me so it's fun to spruce up the joint then I went and found these little globes right here what do they call these floor they're from floral garden they're terrarium planters and so inside of this beautiful little clear plastic terrarium I'm going to put some of those fairy lights in here and light it up and then I'm going to put some twine string on it so that I can hang it from my Christmas palm tree that I'm also going to keep in the corner of my bedroom and add some beautiful fairy lights to it so that I can make a whimsical space. So I picked up three of these terrariums. These are very nice. I actually might add some greenery to maybe some other ones that I may pick up in the future and put some fairy lights in there as well. So I think that these are a great size and that's fun for a craft night also. So yes, I did pick up three. Where is that third one? Right here. And they're a really nice structure. They have like this little hole in the side, just in case you did put something in there that need, needs like to be watered or whatever, you know, a little succulent plant or what have you. This is really cool and cute. So picked up three of those for the fairy lights and maybe some other DIYs that I could potentially do with them to go with my room theme. And then also for those fairy lights, I found these absolutely gorgeous little jars and I love them. These little tiny jars. These are glass. These are glass. They have that gold strip around them. Absolutely gorgeous. And that beautiful rope. So I'm just going to dangle them from different positions on my curtains and just have the fairy lights inside illuminating them. Now I did go on Amazon and look up some gold and white options that they could possibly have. I do, I do have a whole entire bedding set that's gold and white marbleized look in my cart for $52 so that I can get new bedding. But then in the lineup, they came up with these jars that look just like this, definitely bigger than this, but there was six of them for $30. $30. Now I picked up three of these, which that's all I really need because I also have the terrariums and I'm going to put the Dollar Tree fairy lights in there and it's going to save me quite a bit of money, even if I went and picked up the six. So I think that these are really gorgeous. I love the size of them. They're short and chunky and they make me happy. So I grabbed these little beauties and I think it's just going to make the space so warm and inviting and relaxing and and I'm really excited about it, if you cannot tell. So um, then look at what I found. A whole box of these cute little lights that already have fairy lights in them. They did have a silver option for the look to them, but I definitely wanted the gold. So I picked three of these up as well. This is an LED 
hanging lamp. That's what it says. Now on the top, it does have an on and off switch, but it also has a pull tab. So I'm going to pull one of the tabs to see if this will turn on for us. <gasps> Look at how magical. Look at how absolutely beautiful and magical that is. I'll add a little twine string to that as well so that it can dangle from different positions. And I think it is quite lovely. I'm probably going to go back and try to pick up the whole box. Um, and separate the silver ones and just take the gold lidded ones. This is a plastic lid. It's not anything breakable unless you drop it from a far distance. And this is also a plastic type of little bulb in there. But that is stunning. And I'm so excited to have found a box of this also. It's kind of fun when you go to the Dollar Tree and you come up with like a color theme that you're looking for those specific items. And you can really see just tunnel vision for those colors and pull together a whole look that will look so gorgeous. Now, all this stuff collectively cost me just a little bit over $50 to accessorize my entire large size bedroom. And I know where every single one of these pieces are going. So I just need my bedding set after this. And that's a cheap redo. So I love it. Then I found these house shaped little boards. Now these are good for dry erase markers. They definitely have that, you know, laminate on them where you can write with a dry erase and, you know, and just wipe it off, whatever you want to say, and then take it off. But I'm going to just keep them the white and the wood look. So I grabbed these because I'm going to put them on the little the little shelving that I have from Dollar Tree Halls past that are hanging from my curtain area. And I'm going to stage them on that space and make cute little setups. So this is a really nice size, super duper cool and cute. I love that it's a little house and it's a beautiful clean slate. If I did choose to write something on it, I definitely have the space to do so. So I grabbed three of those. If you can't tell, three is my absolute favorite number. And so when I buy things, I tend to buy them in threes, sixes, or nines. I just like that sequence of numbers. And it's always meant something special to me. So I grabbed those in three as well. Then I found another one of these baskets. This is the third one that I have hauled. I, I definitely love these baskets. There's no doubting that. I think that they are just beautifully done. The weaving on them is just stellar. And I love the gold rim. They also have them in a black little rim. They also have them in the silver foil rim. They're just beautifully made. And I can put whatever I choose in here, you know, my rings, earrings, set them out for the night so that I can just grab and go with in the morning with whatever outfits I choose for the day. And these are just woven baskets. So now I have three of them that I can put on different shelves or whatever on, you know, even on my little wooden hanging platforms that are hanging from my curtains that I'll put the houses next to them and put my little gadgets and gadgets inside of it. So there is that another one at my house. I love it so much. Then I found these and I found these so long ago and then I used them for years and I actually had to give them away because it was just time to toss them a few years ago. So I was so excited to see these specific pillowcases back. This is a satin pillowcase. This is from Home Collection. It's a 20 inch by 30 inch, inch pillowcase. And this says good night on it with the little eyes with the eyelashes that are shut, you know, to get a good night's sleep. It's mimicking that. And I think that that will look really pretty on the bed to put some of my pillows inside of. And I like that it's satin because it really does not ruffle up your hair. So I picked up two of those to go with my new bedding set. And that's great for $2.50, you know, to have a whole little pillow set. Now, I picked up these, these beautiful jars. Uh, they're not jars. They're like perfume style bottles. These are glass. I have seen these, you know, trickling in and out of the Dollar Trees for quite some time. I think that they're really beautiful. I love that little, um, that little rough look to it. It's kind of like, uh, to me, it looks like bubbly and oceany and stuff. So I, this is the color of my curtain. So I'm definitely going to incorporate some of this shade as well into my room. And I always love the topper to them. 
I think the topper is just really fun and it reminds me of a disco ball. So what I'm hoping with these, you know, as well as so many other things, when the fairy lights turn on and it cascades different twinkling around the room, I hope it hits some of these glass things um, and it just kind of reflects off of it and sends a light other places. So I think that that would be really, really pretty too. So there are those two options right there, but... I picked up a couple of other ones of just the clear ones and I'm going to take the lids off of those and I am going to put these inside of it and this came from the Christmas section. So I'm just going to cut them down to size so that they fit inside of those glass bottles and I'm going to use them for a cute little arrangement. So right here this is Christmas House Cedar Picks and there's five of them inside of here. And I think that they're really stunning. I love them. They have some sparkle, shimmer, and shine on the branches. They're very tall and pretty. And so I'll just cut them down a little bit and let them wisp out of those glass jars, bottles, whatever you want to call them, whatever makes you happy. So I picked those from the Christmas section and I think that it's going to go really well. I picked up two packages of those. And then I also picked up the gold ones. Now I do think that the gold has way more glitter to it. So there will be some fallout when you take them out of the packages. I can almost guarantee that. But there are five in here also. And I think that they're beautiful. So I'll intermingle them with the white branches. And I think it will pull off the look that I'm hoping for. So I grabbed two packages of those as well. Super duper exciting. I mean, to buy all new accessories for any room for roughly around $50 to set up a whole new look and just kind of like refresh something for the new year to start over, that's just like a fun time for me. That's a really fun time. So I'm so happy that the Dollar Tree had all of these choices and these canvases are perfection as well. So these are a beautiful canvas style. I love the shape of these. They're not just the, you know, the general square look to the canvas. It's a little bit taller, rectangular. It has the hanging mechanism on the back and what a beautiful, beautiful image. And I love the gold foil look. When you move it around, you can see the gold kind of shimmering and shining. And I love that that green is popping out of that white and cream and gold look to the entire style of the canvas too. So picked that one, definitely picked that one up. And then I picked this one as well which is just a really pretty simple floral canvas look. And again, if you move it around, you can see the gold flecks in the foil moving with the picture. So really attractive and pretty, and it will hang up nicely on the wall. So everything is coming down from this room. Everything, everything's going to move around, come down, and I'm going to just start over fresh. I'm going to start over fresh right from the beginning. I also picked up some really pretty frames because I already have a lot of framed pictures in my room and I'd like to rehouse them in some new options. So this one is very, very beautiful. I think that this is such a pretty style, very new, different, and I've never seen it out before. This is just a wood frame. There's, there's no coating to it. It's just a wood type of finish. And I think it's really natural and gorgeous. Now, for some reason, they, they put a twist around this, but that is the stand that kicks out so that it can set up on a space on its own. It does not have a hanging mechanism. So I grabbed that and that's a four by four frame right there. So really cool and pretty. And then look at this one. How pretty is that one? That is just a nice, beautiful, gorgeous style. It looks super expensive to me anyways. I, I love that yellow gold. It's really, really prominent and bright and happy and I think it's going to look really pretty with one of our photographs in it so I have it upside down but it really doesn't matter because it's the same style all the way around and this one does have a hanging uh, mechanism and a stand to be able to kick it out if you want and this is a five by seven option so I picked that beautiful new frame style up 
and I was happy to do it. Now, look at this. This has been my favorite frame that the Dollar Tree has ever come out with, you know, since they first arrived. So I've picked up so many of these. I've picked them up to frame, you know, wedding pictures and graduation pictures and holiday pictures. And I just love the sparkle of the border of these particular frames. So I grabbed a couple of more. I grabbed a couple more and they are just as pretty as they have always been. So this is a four by six because it has the matting around it so that the four by six can sit in the middle. But you can definitely move that matting if you'd like to. I have many times and I've put a five by seven picture inside of this. So here it is. Hanging and standing are the options to that one. I think it is really, really nifty, cool and cute. And then we also have this one, which is a four by four. So I'm going to change all of them, stagger them around my room. I love to look at memories. You know, I grew up old school. We had pictures from childhood all the way through adulthood, black and whites framed everything. And I have pictures framed all through my house. And I think that that is definitely like an old style. I go to other people's houses and not too many people have pictures framed anymore, but I've always stuck with it because pictures just make me happy to see the memories on the wall. So I love it. And it made me super happy to grab it now okay I am gonna change out some of my cubes and I'm never mad about replacing my cubes they're only 125 each and it changes the whole look of your shelving so I picked these up because initially I had thought wow that's like a cream and gold color but as I looked closer this is more of like a gray lining but I think from a distance you know, it definitely looks like it possibly could be like a darker gold color. Even if it doesn't, I really like the cream look to them. And I like the, um, I just love the size of these. So I'm going to move some of my cubes around so that that space can look different as well. And these are the Closet Essentials Heavy Duty. And this is the collapsible storage container. This one is the bigger one, which is 10 and a half inches, 11 inches by 10 and a half inches. And I love them. So I have two different cube um, shelving in my room. One I use as a stand for my TV. And then the other one I use as like a little area for like a nightstand with some decorations on it but I also use it for organization reasons for things in my room so I'm going to replace my cubes with some of these so there it is and I love them now this bulb is getting willy-nilly <laughs> This bulb has like a mind of its own. It's been moving, jiggling, you know, doing all kinds of crazy things. And I've been having to like set it back in its place and put it in a timeout so many times today because it just is doing its own thing. <laughs> so that's that. Now, okay. I do want to make a happy sign because I love making things and I love personalizing things. And I always enjoy these big wooden, you know, just clean slate pieces that I can build something into. But this is just also pretty if you left it as is this big wooden DIY sign from the crafter square section that I picked up. It's just a really long board. I love the grainy wood look to it and the slats. That would be really cute to just like hang on both sides. If I got multiple of them hang on both sides of my curtain kind of make it look like shutters a little bit. But this one I'm going to DIY. So I got some options to plaster on here, make a cute little, a little, you know, sign for my room with my own crafts and stuff involved in it. And I'm happy to have picked up a couple of those to be able to do that. I did find the wall clings that are the beautiful gold butterflies. So some of the, these butterflies are going to go on that sign too. And I'm going to doll it up, spruce it up and make it really bright and happy. This is the Main Street Wall Creations stickers. They are removable. I've never had problems removing any of the, um, the wall clings from my walls. I don't know if it's my paint. It's just easy to come off. Some people have trouble with them. Some people don't, but I've never had an issue. And I already have a lot of these gold butterflies up throughout my space in my room because I love them. But now I'm going to add them to that sign and let them flutter a lot around a little bit. And there's a lot of them on here. So really, really pretty. And I'm happy that they still had them. 
Then I also got this package right here with these beautiful, gorgeous stars. I really want it to be, you know, just like kind of um, dim in here and just really twinkly and stuff like that. So I'm hoping again that some of the Twinkle Lights Cascade hits some of these stars that have the gems on it, reflects light other places. So this is Crafter Square. There's five pieces in here and this is Gemstone Designs Jewels. So I'm going to take some of these off and intermingle them possibly on that sign and spruce it up with the butterflies. I'm just going to do as much of these beautiful colors throughout my space as possible and then right here this is the peel and stick this is the peel and stick from main street wall creations this is removable won't harm walls it says i do have a lot of different packages of these up i have the ones that have the house look to it on my walls and they look really pretty and i liked the cloud and the stars for this one and that beautiful crescent moon that's in the middle of the star so I'm looking forward to putting those up in my space as well. Now, when you take this out, this does have like a film over it that you can peel off so that it will just be like a mirror type of reflection in there. And it's really gorgeous. So thought that that was nifty, cool, and cute. I'm making sure I don't miss anything to the right side of me. Um, I picked up a basket. A beautiful little basket that I can put on one of my shelves as well these are always super nice these wire baskets they come in you know multiple different sizes at this point but I like the bigger look and the deeper look to this one so I grabbed this one I think it's really pretty I might build some of those glass pieces inside of here and make like a little a little caddy with some decor uh, decorations in here put those branch picks inside the glasses and set them in here and uh set them on a really pretty space so love it fantastic beautiful and gorgeous and i was happy to see it so i picked that up now okay i'm gonna get curtains i'm gonna empty one of my walls um, down to bare bones, like nothing on it, move everything away from it. I'm going to get white billowy um, crepey curtains and a rod. I'm going to put it as a whole entire wall backdrop with a string of fairy lights that are like a curtain type of string of fairy lights dangling down on the curtain. And then I'm going to build things on it, swags and things like that. And I'm going to make the swags and the different garland out of these and there is so much new year's eve stuff that is coming onto the shelves i'm so excited to see what they're going to put out this year for new year's eve celebrating so i picked these up so far and i'm excited these are beaded necklaces there's eight pieces in here so there are a lot you can definitely use these for a fun party night but i am actually going to open these up because they have these little these little plastic pieces that the beads are pushed into to close them off. I'm going to open these up and add them to one another to coil them around each other so that when I string them out and hang them above the curtain, it will kind of just swag with the beautiful beading. And these are gold and silver. So I think that that's going to look really pretty. I got two packages of them. So there'll be lots of beads to, you know, be with those twinkle lights and make it look like a really fun, fun, beautiful curtain wall drop. So I'm so excited about that. I do have a curtain LED strip of lights um, that kind of just like pulls out and all the fairy lights dangle down in length. And that's like $15 and that's in my Amazon cart as well. Then I found some more hearts. I found these such a long time ago and I decorated my bathroom with a look over the summer with these and now I'm going to put them on that curtain wall drop along with the beads, the fairy lights and the new curtains and I think that they are so beautiful as I always have. So this is Birch and Vine where value and style meet. Well thank you. Thank you so much for that. So that's the tag and then these are just beautiful, beautifully made 
gorgeous like they're very beachy they're very beachy it looks like you know just like beech wood all meshed together into a heart shape on that wire form that they built it on they do have them in a um a natural like wood look they also have them in a gray look but i picked up the white ones so that i can swag them along the curtain to dangle down and they come on these little ribbons so again i picked up three and I think it's going to look really, really attractive, pretty and gorgeous. And now is that it? That is it. That is it for the wall decorations. And now let's get in to some other stuff that is pertaining to just other awesome things that I found. Now I found these beautiful, wonderful, happy nails. And this is the Pretty Women um, brand. These are vegan salon perfect manicure in five minutes. There are 12 faux nails in here, but the glue is not included. And I found them in that beautiful white and gold look. And those are really attractive and pretty. And I do like that. Um, they are long a little bit, but they are not like the coffin pointy ones. I don't enjoy those too much. I like that they're squared off. So I've just recently found and hauled uh, nail glue for you guys. So I probably will put those on for New Year's while I'm on my couch eating popcorn and hanging out at my house on New Year's Eve. So I grabbed those. And then I found this great Revlon lip color. And this one is um, Ultra Matte Lip Color. And it's just a beautiful shade. It just absolutely is a beautiful, neutral, pretty shade. And I thought it was a really nice size tube as well so I wanted to give that a shot I have to tell you I I don't know what's wrong with me but I am very excited to try something new in the color world you know I've always been very bright a uh, bite I've always been very bright vibrant you know just a meld of colors that don't even match that's always been my style that's always been my look is just to be as wild eccentric and flamboyant as possible that's what's always made me happy but I am excited after finding this color nail polish what it has triggered in me to just go a little bit more neutral and do something different for this new year so I just I'm just gonna pull in all the neutrals that I can and enjoy the moment of being a little bit different than I normally am so I'm excited I did find this beautiful pen and I thought it was so pretty. This was up by the register. And this one is different even though it has the gem on it. Because there are little hearts on here. There are little hearts against that gold look. So I thought it was a beautiful pen. It has that pink little gem right on the top. And this is one of their really nice novelty pens. And I think it's really pretty. They had a blue one, a purple one with different gems at the top. But I loved it and I can put it in my little pen caddy um, in my room so that when I'm writing out friend mail cards or just writing, you know, writing in my journals and stuff like that, I have that really pretty pen to match my room. Like I, this is the stuff I like to do, guys. This is the stuff I like to do. <laughs> so that's what makes me happy. And then I found this little cutie patootie. The kitties are getting me every time I see something that is kitty themed. This is the silicone bottle opener and it's a kitty shape and it looks just like my neighbor Linda's cat next door. So I'm definitely putting this in her cat Christmas basket that I have built for her that I found all the things from the Dollar Tree over the last like month and he is just sweet. He's just so cute and sweet. And then it gives you all of that beautiful little sentiment on the back. This cute kitty is here to help you open your favorite bottle of soda or adult beverage. Its soft material helps provide a comfort grip and its stylish shape will have everyone asking where they can get one too. So I love that they write that. I found the one with the cactus and it said the same thing on the back. And I just, I think it just makes it a little bit more personal with that beautiful little, you know, wording on the back. So I thought that that was a lot of fun. Then I found some socks. I found some really fun, awesome socks. This is um, Barbie. Hello, I'm so excited for Barbie. Barbie shoe size four to 10. This is one pair and it's just that beautiful black with that hot pink Barbie logo on it. So I think that those are really awesome. Cute for stocking stuffers. I love to gift socks, just love it. 
Then I found Care Bears. Care Bears are the best. And this is shoe size 4 to 10 as well. And it's got that cute little Care Bear on there. And it says right on the heart, Care Bear. Hold on. Let them see if I can pull out all the stops and get my hand in here so that you can see the image. That is a cute little muffin on there. And these will be cute to scuff around in my little whimsical, you know, nighttime looking room with the stars and the clouds and the lights and all that. And then I thought that these were really pretty for that as well. This one is the Juncture brand. This is a women's size five to nine low cut socks. And there's two pairs in here. So I saw those beautiful stars with the sparkly in it. And it's that really nice minty green that will go with my room. I know I'm crazy, but it's okay. It's what makes me tick. And then this is just really a beautiful light pink with white hearts on it for that stocking on the back. But I was like, those will match my room and I'll feel like just a fun time in my room with those socks on in the stars. So I grabbed those and then I found the peanuts. I found the peanuts and I love the peanuts. This is no show four to 10 size as well. And here is that little cutie patootie right on the front. But the stocking says, let me put my hand in here yet again. The stocking does say, be happy. So Snoopy says be happy and that is what I'm going to do. So I picked that up and I'm so, so happy to have seen all those cute options. Now I did find two really great books and I was excited to see both of these. Um, the Zombie Stone is what this one is called. It looks really awesome. It's a hardcover book. Um, and this originally went for, let me see, I, mama me, I forgot to take the sticker off. This originally went for $17.99. Now, books are a great option for gifting as well. Promote the gift of reading. What's worse than a zombie? Try five. It says, undying love for the undead. And it's just a cute you know, adorable, really nice size book to read through. Has some images in there and... I think it's wonderful. Let me see if I can pick um, the some of the etching in here for the drawings. It's really, really great illustrations. So I thought that that was great. And this looks like a fun time. This is a paperback book. This is Caper King and the Puppy, uh, Cappy King and the Puppy Caper. That's what it's called. So first in a new series, it says, and this went for $9.95 really really awesome content to be unmarried and plain spoken Catherine um she is from Pennsylvania and she's from Amish country so I know that my mom is going to like this book a lot and it looks adorable so I picked that up from Mumsy and her book stash for Christmas and I am excited to give it to her so that is it my beautiful honey muffins I love you guys so much I am so thankful for you being here with me for those of you that are new hi I'm Callan I would love it if you'd stick around stay like share subscribe comment down below hit the bell notification so that you know every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I'm so grateful, you know, to my husband, my life, blessings that I am able to do this with you guys, show you the cool stuff that's in the store, and then just get to hang out with the coolest people on the block. So thank you for hanging out with me too. I love you. I'm so excited to take all my decorations down and redo my space for, you know, the new year to come. And, you know, I hope this gave you guys some ideas too, that you don't need to go to like a big box store and try to spend tons and tons of money to just put some new things up that might, you know, just bring you a little bit of happiness. You can go to the Dollar Tree, think of the colors that you like and pull something off, you know, for less than I even paid for it. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't want as much of the little knickknacky things as I do, but you just wanted a few new pieces to pull something together. So for roughly about a hundred bucks, once I get that comforter set, I have a redone my whole room between the Dollar Tree and that. So that makes me happy and I'm excited to share it. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, fancy, fancy day, and I will see you guys on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Hall. Love all your faces. Bye everyone.